Like you can't pour from an empty glass. See, I think the reality is in order to make the world a better place, you have to devote all of your energy on making you the best version of yourself. Because until you show up in the world as the best version of yourself, you don't have a chance in making a difference and making a change and making an impact on the world. And you may be able to help other people a little bit for a period of time. It's just not sustainable. Like, like long term, like you, that's what leads to burnout. It's what leads to frustration. And it's, it, it's what leads to depression because you're worried about everybody else but yourself. And when you put yourself last, it, it never works out. Uh, so you, you just have to, you have to be so conscious of it. Um, and, and just like you're saying, guarding your time, you have to guard your time fiercely. And, and I look at it even more like further into it as like guarding your capacity. And how can I really help, you know, a friend of mine going through a difficult time when I've got nothing to pull from. <laughs> and so when you start thinking about it as capacity, I started guarding the capacity. And we talk about, you know, fleeing from negativity. And when you start thinking about your capacity as, you know, okay, you've got 100% and these things that are stealing from it, you start thinking that like, like overly serious. You have to become selfish in order to be selfless. Meaning you have to take care of yourself first. You have to take personal responsibility before you can take care of or be responsible for anybody else. And so many people are on here right now and you're taking care of your, your friend, you're taking care of your, your family, you're taking care of your spouse, you're taking care of your business partners and you're not taking care of yourself. And if you actually slow down enough to think about it, you will realize that until you take care of yourself, until you take personal responsibility, until you take ownership of your life, you're not really providing those other people value anyways. Until you take control of your own life, it's not until then, and it's not until the overflow of that, that you can really help anybody else anyways. And so all you're doing is digging a hole that is going to take longer and longer and longer to get out of. So if you think of every human being having a capacity, like let's say full capacity is 100%. But the reality is, you know, when you're doing this for your mom, and every time you talk to your, you know, your sister, she's complaining about this. Every time you're, you know, with this person, they're, you know, super negative when you're doing this. These things are all just like pulling and robbing and stealing capacity away from you. So at the end of your day, when it's time to focus on you, you could be operating at 30 or 40 percent capacity because you're allowing other people to, to steal that from you and not focusing on yourself first. And obviously you want to be performing at the highest possible capacity at all times. So the only way to do that is to make sure that you're building up your capacity first and then once you're good, then you can help others. And when you do it for a period of time, and, and I'm talking a period of time like a year, you, you finally realize that like, oh, I get it. Like I really wasn't helping them that much to begin with. But now that I'm this different person, now that I'm in this better place, and now that I'm operating, if I'm helping them based on my 30% capacity versus I work on myself first and I can help them based on 80, 90, 100% capacity, then I can actually really help them.